Tonight, after decades of helping kids and families grow, the leader of the UP Children's Museum is planning to retire. That's right. TV6's Cameron Chin shares just a small amount of the impact Nina Wire Itner has had on Upper Michigan. The UP Children's Museum opened 25 years ago because of the vision and drive of its founder, Nina Wire Itner. She just announced her plans to retire. Though the museum has made major financial strides in exhibit expansions, Itner reminisces about the little things. It's not a probably the big experiences that I remember the most. It's just the little tiny people that I remember the most. The funny things that a little kid will say to me or the, the, the thing a parent will say to me while, you know, they're walking through the museum. I guess those are the things that really touch me. Itner says the idea of the museum came about in 1987 and it opened 10 years later. Her steadfast leadership has been at the forefront since its founding, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. Her staff commends the strong leadership during the turbulent time. Work with government funds and local funders to make sure that nobody missed a step here at the museum. All the staff got paid and it's been a wonderful time of leadership by Nina. As there have been plenty of good memories throughout the nonprofit's history, Itner says it was a long and hard choice to retire. I knew whenever I decided to retire, it would be something that would absolutely know I wanted to retire. And yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it. What am I going to do in retirement? I have absolutely no clue. But a lot of people are giving me advice. As the museum's board of directors starts the process for finding a new executive director, it's clear no one can replace Itner. But she is confident that the board will find someone to carry the museum's spirit forward. Her retirement date is to be determined based on the search for a new leader. Cameron Chin, TV6 News, Marquette.